Welcome back to Street Smart. Well, earlier in the uh, broadcast, we talked with two economists about where the U.S. economy is heading. Now we're joined by the head of an economic advisory firm who says demographic trends point to another recession. He is Harry Dent. He is the author of the new book, The Great Crash Ahead. He wrote The Great Boom Ahead, which was published in 1992, several years before the last boom. Harry, good to have you here with Matt and myself. Good afternoon. Nice to be here. So why are we, should we be getting ready for The Great Crash Ahead? Here's your book. Why should we be getting ready for it? Well, we actually said this 20 years ago when we were bullish. The baby boom would peak as a generation around 2007 or so because people spend the most money in their life at age 46 as their kids are starting to leave the nest. Mm. Then they become savers. So baby, the Fed's trying to stimulate an economy where the mass of the workforce, the baby boomers, are moving from being spenders, borrowers, home buyers to savers for retirement. They don't want to borrow money. They don't want to buy a house. They don't care how low mortgage rates are. So how bad is it going to get? I mean, what kind of crash are you talking about? We go back to Dow what? Oh, three to five thousand. Wow. Now, I mean, that's just a little little lower than we went before. Now, what happened, we, the other side of the story, we had the greatest debt bubble in history, 20 to 42 trillion in private debt. That's three times the government debt. It was that debt that was deleveraging the subprime crisis and beyond and causing the banking crisis. The government said two to three trillion dollars. We're just going to stop that. Mm -hmm. well, we said the stimulus wouldn't work because baby boomers don't want to borrow it. And this 42 trillion in debt needs to delever. Home prices need to come back down to reality so young families can afford the American standard of living again. So it's going to be a painful debt crisis next two years. So Harry, I mean, uh, if we look back to the two or three decades of expansion of sort of Reagan Clinton prosperity that we had, that was quite a long time. Do you think we have that long ahead of us of malaise? I mean, do we have 20 years of pain now? You know, actually not. These demographic cycles about every 40 years, you get a 26 year boom like 1942 to 68 with the last generation, then a 12 to 14 year downturn like into 82. So we see, and we said this 20 years ago, 2008 to 2023 demographic trends point down until the echo boom the next young generation is large enough and entered the workforce enough to push the economy up again. So we see about a decade more, but we see the worst of this when the banking system finally deleverages like it starts to in the next few years. So I think the lows in the stock market are likely to just be two, three years ahead of us. Just two, you, three, you, go ahead, I'm you, sorry, Matt. You, you actually sold your house in 2005 <laughs> and started renting, predicting the burst of the housing bubble. Yeah, we, we pre were predicting that in our newsletter at the time, and I was happened to be moving from Miami to Tampa, so it was a little easier to convince my wife to do this. We rented a house. You know, as you know, in, in Florida, home prices fell about 50%, so we saved a lot of money. I'm still waiting two to three more years to buy. See, did, uh, you, see, did you get short, too? I mean, did you make the big bet? Uh, no, I, I, I invest mostly in, in private companies, so I don't invest as much in the stock market. I am looking to go short probably in uh, late December, early January. We think the market is going to go lower here and then rally towards the end of the year when the fourth quarter is a little stronger than expected, and then I think the crash continues. We think stocks have already peaked in late April, so we think the crash is beginning, but there's going to be a chance to get out you know, down the road here a bit. All right, so don't be fooled by a rally later on this year. Yeah, don't be fooled by a rally. It's probably going to be 20%. It's probably going to be substantial. That's a rough one. Hey, when there is a crash, where do you want to invest in your view? I think I, I'm looking at a lot of the emerging markets is what you like. Well, I like emerging markets long term because they have the good demographics. Europe, North America, most developed countries don't. Right now, you got to avoid the meltdown. Everything went down in 2008-9. Commodities, gold, silver, oil, real estate markets, emerging markets went down more than ours. Right. You, a, a conservative investor needs to be in safe short-term bonds and then maybe in the U.S. dollar index because that's the only thing that rallies. You know, I talked with Jim Chanos and he, you know, we talked about China and he's got a lot of warning signs. Exactly. You don't like China. At oh this point. my gosh. He is totally right about this. They have the biggest bubble in the world. They don't publish their statistics. They're building cities, millions of people, nobody in them, roads, railways, way excess industrial capacity. We think Europe, North America trip into a recession that hits China's exports. China implodes, and then emerging countries that supply it. So this is going to be a worldwide downturn. No optimism there at all. Well, we've been <laughs> bullish for 20 years. We've been <laughs> bullish since 1988. It's, you it's know? cyclical. The book is The Great Crash Ahead. It is by Harry uh, Dent. Harry, thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate it.